latest eco-friendly trend is focusing on a small item that's contributing to a big issue. We use straws mindlessly. We put them in a drink. We don't even realize where they're going to end up. They're very small. They slip out of the trash. Uh, the birds are picking them up. They're getting, they go into the ocean. The fish are eating them. Felicia Smith considers herself to be anti-straw, but as a manager at Arakari Kitchen, where smoothies and juices are a specialty, ruling out straws completely isn't practical. Instead, Smith has implemented a system where employees treat straws as a request rather than a requirement. I ask them not to, to deliver a straw to the table. Uh, we don't automatically send a straw with to-go orders. We always ask if you want a straw or plastic wear to go with you. Smith says staff members also make an effort to recycle all plastics, practices that have allowed the restaurant to reduce its eco footprint. Arikari Kitchen purchased this box of jumbo straws in 2016 and in the past two years has only gone through about a third of it. Smith says the eatery will more than likely shift to biodegradable straws in the future, a nationwide trend other local restaurants are following as well. Probably within the next 60 days we will be uh, you know, compliant with paper straws. Steve Huddleston at Grand Traverse Pie Company says cost and routine may be some growing pains involved with the shift, but at the end of the day, they're outweighed by the environmental benefits. And it's just like anything else, you know, once you, uh, you know, get in the habit of doing these things, it's just going to be normal life. And, and overall, it's just going to be a better thing for the whole environment. I did call a few other local restaurants today and wasn't able to find any that have completely done away with plastic straws, although many said they were planning to make the shift in the future. Tom. All right. Thank you, uh, Nicole. Steve Edelson says Grand Traverse Pie Company is also looking into shifting the materials they use in their packaging process. He says 25 to 30 percent of the restaurant businesses, restaurant's business is carry out.